Hello everybody. I'm back with another video. This video, I'm going to talk about one album and I will say it is a recommendation that I think for folks who like prog music and for those who even like rock music might um, want to check this album out. Um, I do encourage for you to go listen to some of it free on YouTube to, to see if you decide that you do like it. Now, before um, I talk about the album, I want to talk about the label that it's on. The label that this album is on is called Return to Analog. It's a Canadian label that started in 2014. And the main focus is that they have the, uh, that they have on is new material and reissues of Canadian prog bands um, records. I'm grateful for the label. I'm grateful because I do like Canadian prog bands. And I like that this label does these reissues. I don't know how often they come out, but I've enjoyed every um, album that they reissued of um, these Canadian prog bands. And wow, that's a very cool and I found interesting area of the uh, country where in Canada were all these prog bands. And um, I'm trying to think of one of the very first bands, Canadian-wise. I'm not just talking about Rush or Triumph, um, but I'm talking about Canadian bands like Minage, Ange. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. But for right now, those are two. Oh, Morris Code. So, and what's really interesting that each area that these bands come out of, Quebec, and I forget some of the other areas in Canada, they have their own uniqueness about the type of jazz, I mean, excuse me, about the type of prog music they bring. Some bring progressive jazz, some bring the symphonic prog, uh, some bring the, what they call folk prog. So the hat for prog, music is really big there is so many you can go down a bunch and a bunch of rabbit holes so back to the return to analog they reissue these canadian prog bands their albums and they are limited to 500 copies so the one that i want to share with uh my audience or whoever's watching this video uh, is the band called Eden, you know, like the Garden of Eden. But this band is, this is the album, Eden. I really dig the artwork. Okay, and you can see the Return to Analog. And this one is like, I have number 17 out of 500. That's pretty good, I think. And they do a nice job from what, I mean, I've never seen a lot of these albums, um, the originals, but it really looks like they stick to the idea of the original cover and everything. You know, I like the way the covers feel. They're not so glossy or they don't look so like if, you know, you took a picture and you went over to the Xerox copy machine and you printed a hundred. It doesn't look like that or feel like that. But I really think they do try to stick to the way the labels, um, the original labels, like even though it says they're returned to analog, like here's the label, it's, does it, there's not much to it. It's Eden, but you can see where it has the return to analog on top. Now this band, Eden, released this album back in 1978 and this was reissued in 2018. This is the only album this band ever made. Now, I always find that interesting. You you know, you wonder 
And there's probably some information out there. I didn't find too much. But it's interesting to me that a band like this, Eden, that is so good, what happened? You know, you kind of wonder, you know, what, what, what you wonder sometimes, or at least I wonder the reasons, you know, why didn't the band continue to make a few more albums? It, it could be a bunch of things. Maybe, you know, people have different ideas and want to just go different routes. Or maybe they was just like, you know, this is going to be a one-time project. Let's just see how that goes. And who knows? I, I really don't know. But as I mentioned, Eden, that album came out in 1978. Um, it has a lot of styles to it. The lyrics are sung in, in French. But it has a prog rock side to it. It has psychedelic or, you know, rock to it. But also it has like a moody blues feel to it which would be considered symphonic prog or symphonic prog rock and folk for sure the first side of the album has a symphonic prog and i love that side side two has more of a uh, songs that are a little bit of everything folk rock prog you know a beginning and end you know, you can just, I'll just show you the back real quick. That the songs are, you know, a little bit shorter on side two. You can see if you can see that very well. I think the longest song is about over six minutes. And the titles are in French. So I am not going to even attempt to say any of those. But I really dig this back part of the cover. I mean, I really like that artwork. But. Also, I didn't find out one thing that the band liked, listened, and were influenced by, yes, yes, you know, the band Fragile, uh, Relayer, Close to the Edge, that band, yes. And so, you can kind of hear that influence on that record, on some of those tracks, like, again, I recommend the album, but I really encourage for folks to go listen to these, listen to that album and see if you even like it. You might not like it. And if you do, cool, you know, but uh, yeah, that's an, a prog album that I wanted to talk about. Uh, Canadian prog. I've been getting into a lot of different, there's a lot of bands Um and that label, uh, Return to Analog, or putting them back in print. And so I'm grateful for reissue labels, especially for like the jazz and prog music. And there's some rock stuff too, that these labels uh, reissue these records. They need to be heard. They need to be for new listeners as well, you know? If you're out there, um, and you may know this band. Let me know. Drop me some uh, comments or, you know, let me know. Have you, maybe you know some other good Canadian prog bands that I should go check out or any kind of type of prog. Well, folks, I'm coming to the end of this video. I do want to thank you for watching my videos. And I just wanted to share about an album that I really do like. I don't remember. I think I got it early on, early or maybe last year before the uh, COVID pandemic. But yeah, I listened to this album quite a lot. Eden. Well, into my next video. I'll see you soon. Everybody take care and thank you for everything.